you know what I learned losing that duel? I learned that I'll never win. Not that way. That's their game. Their rules. I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to fuck them. What's up, gang? Welcome back. Episode 4, House Bayless. Stizzy's Crib. Word. Thank you guys so much for coming back. Brand new, brand spanking, house-filled, Thanksgiving edition of House Bayless. Word. It's not really Thanksgiving edition. But for those of you that celebrate it, yeah, happy Thanksgiving. And for those of you that don't, I hear the whole side of it. I would just look at, you know, Thanksgiving as if you're thankful for anything. Or you got a reason to be thankful. Just appreciate that. Word. Don't even think about anything else about it. You know, um, word. Just if you're thankful, you have something to be thankful for. You know, think about it and appreciate it. And maybe share that um, appreciation of what you're thankful for with other people. Word. You know, I try to manipulate it. There's good in a little bit of, and just about everything, right? But there's not any good in Lord Peter Baelish. Yeah. So we got married. We took care of that stuff. And we wrapped up last episode with none other than the prior rebellion. Yeah. Lord Cadwell of the famous house prior has actually rebelled against. He's an open rebellion. I love saying that. It sounds so dope. Yeah. But he's an open rebellion against our liege, John. Yeah. Uh, so what actually happened between Cadwell, 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 whatever, and John? I'm not sure. I'll be shut up with you guys. Yeah, I've got no clue. But what I do know is that Cadwell's probably going to go down really quick. Yeah. I mean, he's only got 513 men. John, let's take a guess, has at least over 15,000. Or I don't even think we need to look at him, but why not? Yeah. Yeah, John's got 29,000 men. We don't even need to worry about the 285 that he's got on the other side. Yeah. So, this is going to be this is going to be a quickly ended rebellion. But what's interesting about this, I was doing a little bit of homework for this episode and House Pryor. Yeah, House Pryor is actually like historically a uh, fiercely like religiously faithful house to the Aaron's right so there's always been a prior running stuff in the lordship of the pebble yeah for as long as yeah you see yeah and what their their bread and butter is you know they're the loyal house to house aaron right everybody else you know got these big territories high lordships but it's the priors yeah it's the priors that are known for really toughing it out and i think what's their most famous I think how they kind of like cemented that reputation is during the conquest of Dorne. Yeah, look into it if you're interested in that shit. But yeah, and that house, that's the house that's in rebellion. Pretty crazy shit. Word. So um, we're keeping tabs on that. And yeah, you know, we've got the we've got the claim running in the Lordship of Sunrise Keep. We're trying to get that through. You know, the castle, he's, well, not the castle, all right our uh just as is pretty good that diplomacy is only a 14 but yeah we, we should hopefully can get that claim in this episode but everybody knows how claims go right it's um it's it's hit or miss you know i've bullshitted around and console commanded like a guy with like 99 and like or 25 or some shit like that and it's taken forever I, i'm talking like hours so yeah hopefully we don't take hours to get this claim in but yeah we've got that claim running as we monitor uh you know the the prior rebellion prior rebellion or the cadwillian rebellion I'm not sure i like cadwillian right but prior probably probably is more fitting all right so because of this plot that we've got to actually kidnap walter yeah actually the son right of of the lord of sunrise keep because we've got that plot running in the background we're gonna get a whole bunch of little mini notifications like these from a couple of spy masters from other realms that are hearing about this and that might snitch on us right hopefully none of them do um but yeah we're gonna go through these pretty quick so we've got sir brian he's the spy master of iron oaks 
or what is that? Yeah, iron oaks, and that's what down here. So he's checking, and he might snitch. You know, we're not gonna try to get him killed because if we, even though there's a high probability that he does die, hmm, yeah, we're gonna avoid that. Let's go with the um. Yeah, we're gonna avoid killing people, making a mess. Let's go with the 33% chance of the plot, you know, being revealed. We still got, you know, a good, um, a good percentage left of possibly not getting it revealed. Yeah, cool. All right. So yeah, so there's another battle currently going on. in the pebble and I think that might have been a done to the, yeah right John's war score is up to 87 percent all right yeah and like I said I, I know this rebellion is going to be ended really quickly and then Cato is going to end up like Kerwin uh with like bars on his ship you know or uh yes it looks like we finally got an opportunity to capture Walter yeah so our plan is going to be pushing in pretty good uh, but the, these odds aren't, aren't good at all. So we just got the notification. They're letting us know that we can go ahead and try to kill Walter. You know, son of the Lord of Sunrise Keep. We get him. You know, we have the heir. Try to cancel that whole pack with God's grace. Yada, yada. You know. But these odds suck. So we're not going to go ahead with this. We're not going to go ahead and trigger the attempt to kidnap him yet. Until we can get these odds better. Yeah, because 42% 42 42 chance that we fail but are not discovered and 25% chance that, you know, we fail and we're found out. Yeah, I don't like those odds. Um, all right, so, you know, we've got two things going on. We're going to go ahead and check in on the actual where we're at with the plot power uh, in that effort to kidnap Walter. But, um, yeah, I'm still really interested in seeing how Cadwell's gonna get himself out of this one because he's yeah he he's fucked up word um so of course we are um we are actually in the north right because we we've been invited to this um tournament the tournament of winterfell from lord paramount ned again not really sure why he didn't invite us i still think we're gonna get set up but you know we've we're keeping tabs on what's going on with the pebble you know um but during that tournament we've got a a couple of a couple of good battles let's check it out so we've had um craig and carstock all right and master hellum you know they went at it and craig and prevailed all right where's craig and? let's check him out okay that marshal's pretty good wife died though under sus suspicious circumstances Hmm. Interesting. All right, he was forty-two and she was twenty-eight. Hmm. And their daughter's fifteen. Wow. So he, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. She's um, or, or yeah. They, they definitely. He definitely um is nasty. Um, but that's Northman for you, All right? Cool. Um, but he won that fight So we've got another chance in the same odds, so I wonder if yeah So we've got another notification to try to get Walter and the same bullshit odds just came through And I wonder if that's a function of that plot power. We still haven't checked that in you know, we've been uh, checking in on a, On the tournament and all of that All right, so our, our plot power is currently at a hundred and thirteen percent all right not sure why auto invite plotters wasn't on but um yeah we've got that one on now so we're going to decline yeah it's still too risky those odds still haven't improved uh, hopefully by um word um checking on this little in invite plotters hopefully we can get this plot power up to at least 150. yeah let's see how we can actually help that All right, so let's go ahead. You know, we've got 333 pieces of gold. So let's go ahead and send his wife a little gift. All right, let's go ahead and invite her to the plot. That's great. Let's see who else we can get in. All right, so we got a, a, a natural uh, Humphrey. 
He's joined the plot, so that plot power should pick up a little bit. Let's see who else is available with 15% of plot power. All right, and it's the Maester. Wow, Maester Bennett. So, um, yeah, he must have some some kind of like axe to grind with those guys. But we're we'll go ahead and send the Maester a little gift. All right, he should definitely join the plot now. Yes, awesome. So I think this should do it, guys. I think with these three characters, you know, the next time we get that notification to try to kidnap Walter, yeah, we should get hopefully that up to maybe like 69% uh, probability of, yeah, snatching them up. Um, but uh, back to the battle, you know, WWE Game of Thrones style. Yeah. All right, so we just got a notification uh, that Howlin' Reed just just won. He actually just beat Cregan. Yeah, now Howlin' Reed. Yeah, we all know he's famous for being with Ned Stark at the tower where um, Elisa was, and you know that's where eventually Jon Snow was conceived and all of that, and you know helping you know Ned kill you know Sir Arthur Dane, right? So he's actually wow, he's actually a dope character. That state marshal is a twenty. Um, let's see if he's a skill he's a formidable fighter, okay. Um, and he's a mystic. Yeah, I wonder that's probably where his son got it from. Yep, and not surprisingly his son does have the green dream. So that is playing out similar to the books and the movies. Interesting. Yeah. Um but Howlin Reed actually just won. So is he the winner of the tournament? Yeah, he's the winner of the melee. Wow. All right. And he hates us. Yeah. Hmm. And that's because we're ruthless. You know the foreigner and religious differences stuff. You can get through that, but the ruthless, yeah, that that yeah, that really stinks. Hmm. See if we were to send him a gift. Hmm. All right. So if we sent him um, twenty-five pieces of gold, he would like us more by eighty more. Hmm. You know what? Don't no real reason to keep tabs on him right now, and so no real reason to like spend any money on him. Yes. All right. Yeah. So, uh, even though he's interested, I'm not gonna even make him a character of special interest. Yeah, he can just kind of like go about his way. And so, um, I think it actually panned out, guys. So we've got another notification. Try to get Walter, and the odds are actually better. Right? 51% chance that the kidnapping is a success. 19% chance that disaster strikes and the plot fails, and we're found out. Hmm. Let's go back to that intrigue. So that plot power is currently at 164.8%. I wonder if we get that a little bit bigger. Okay. Yes, and I think we just did. Fuck. But we're going to have to send him. Uh, we're going to have to send him. Yeah, he's not going to join the plot. All right. So um, Master Ellis of Moor Green. And where is that actually located? Let's check that out. Oh, that's actually in Sunrise Keep. So his own bannermen, right? That's crazy. His own bannermen are turning in on him. Okay, they really must hate this air. Wonder why. Hmm. Right, but we're going to go ahead and spend those 15 pieces of gold. Well, 19 pieces of gold. That should push it over the top. Yeah. He wasn't going to join and be a bitch ass for, for, for 15 pieces, but for 19 pieces, he'll, he'll definitely join. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to go and still deny that, you know, we're still not going to kill him yet. We want to kill him, but not yet. Yeah. Um, we're, we're going to wait till, you know, that percent of disaster striking goes down to at least maybe like 10%. I think that might be asking for a lot being straight out with you but yeah maybe at least 10 or 12 all right after many hours of intense battle lord paramount edward's melee is over mm. yeah it, it was interesting nothing really came out of it that's really going to help us down here in midler point but at least we didn't get kidnapped or you know killed or something like that cool all right so i think our son just died hmm 
it's cool that's all right but we can't afford to die from being depressed or anything like that all right all right so our plot power to kidnap walter is actually up to 179.8 percent and this is crazy and uh yeah, those odds still aren't good enough the next time we get another notification the odds should be a lot higher on yeah should be a lot higher on being able to kidnap Walter yeah, I'm confident alright all right, so while we've been all you know uh, all, all focused on you know our <coughs> you know our struggle to capture um, Walter at a higher percentage uh, this is some bullshit so his I'm sorry I didn't mean to curse but you know the plot power is at 179 percent and the odds they're giving us is still 90 percent chance of you know us being revealed in the plot yeah no, this is bullshit yeah yeah and this is where hmm interesting So, wow, this is, this is crazy. So they're packed. All right. So Walter, right? The schmuck that we're trying to kidnap. We're trying to kidnap him to, um, you know, either kill him to eliminate the pack with God's grace, uh, between God's grace and sunrise keep, right? That was the whole reason or, um, you know, you know, eventually Kerwin dies and you know we try to we get a claim on Sunrise Keep and you know when we go for it he's already in our prison so we take over the Lordship just like that those are like the two you know um, ways we we're going about it but the first way I detail was you know killing him to eliminate that pack with Sunrise Keep well I think that pack is eliminated and I'm right yes so Sunrise Keep is actually really weakened and this really works in our favor. So hopefully we can get that claim in this episode. Yeah, we've still got, I'm still going to run it for at least maybe at least another six, seven minutes. Word, word. Episode four. Uh, yeah. Um, but, mm, yeah. And they actually had a kid and the kid was killed. Murdered on the orders of Lord Harmon of Brimstone. What the? Hmm interesting so this lord so there's some there's some stuff going down in dorn all right and yeah rest in peace yeah but there's definitely some stuff going down in dorn which um which has trickled down up all the way into the veil which has actually helped us out so um yeah let's actually keep some tabs on this guy lord Harmon of brimstone yeah this might be a guy that might be a guy that I want to work with in the future, you know, because he's already dishonorable. And even though he's not ambitious, if only he was ambitious, right? Yeah. He's currently the high lord of Brimstone, and, you know, pretty decent, you know, pretty decent troop levels, you know, 300 and 3,614 men. So, you know, either he's a pretty strong character. He's stronger than us, you know, or... Yeah, it definitely would be a harder, harder to lordship to take over than you know the lordship of Sunrise Keep, right? Yeah, but um, mm, nice. All right. So um, that that's one thing um, that's gonna make this that was gonna make this a lot harder. That's been taken off the list. Pretty cool. I love when the AI does shit like that. And um, it's officially over. Uh, the rebellion of Lord Cadwell. Of the you know uh, famous famous loyal house to house Aaron house prayer prior, yeah um, the prior Aaron you know um, you know war is over and of course the veil one right so Cadwell's currently in prison hmm yeah how can I make this work so you know what we're just gonna go ahead and do it. And hopefully, um, hopefully this pans out. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and capture Walter. All right. So fingers crossed that we don't come back with some bullshit event. 
Yeah, fingers crossed that we're actually able to get them. All right, so this episode's been a pretty jam packed, and it, we and we got it done. We kidnapped them, so we currently have the heir of Sunrise Keep in our dungeons. You know, we're gonna keep him on house arrest, yeah, just because um we actually need him. Yeah, awesome. Nice, we got it done. But now we need that claim to freaking trigger. Like yesterday. Lord. See if we have a better alternative for Justice R because that diplomacy of 14, I hate it. I hate looking at it. Like, give me a 16. Just don't give me like a bullshit character. And that's what I feel Melwis is. Yeah, we're going to be merciful and just keep him under house arrest. And we don't need him dying or anything like that. Okay, so we've got a potential new uh, potential new Justice R. It's actually Humphrey. He's a courtier in, Holt, in Old Town. It's actually from the, you know, House Hightower. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and invite him to our court. Not a bad character, his diplomacy is just good and he's pretty young, he's 19. Okay, he doesn't really have a high intrigue so no reason to really re really get worried about him. Alright, he's joined our court and yeah, Melwis, it's been a pleasure, thank you so much for serving the rub, but you're out of here. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and capture, imprison his other heir as well. So Kerwin got, Kerwin's out of jail. Not sure how he bargained that with John. But Kerwin's a free man, but his heir is imprisoned, you know. And um, we're actually going to go for his next, his, the next heir in line, which is Bellis Doniger. Uh, so we've got that. I'm pretty sure we've got that going. Now we're going to go ahead. Auto invite plot. Plot plotters to our plot. And if I've been a little bit more quiet on this one. I'll be straight up with you guys. Um, a lot of family over. I want to make sure I'm respectful to everybody. So this has been a little bit of. You know. Um, tea and crumpets with stizzy um no uh, next episode we'll try to have a lot more energy um but definitely wanted to keep this series going along it's a f good one it's a fun one and we've got so much work to do to get where we want to be with Baelish yeah we actually need to get that air stuff going along too so um yeah um and we already have opportunity to capture um what's this guy's name Bellis Doniger Hmm. Oh, what? It's still a little too risky. Not yet. Not yet. Let's get that. Let's get the probability of us. Um. Get the probability of us. Um. Not being able to capture him and being exposed while we're not being able to capture him down to at least like 19, like the last time. Cool. Yeah, and that should come through pretty soon. Looking at the way that last notification came out of nowhere. All right. So a group of hedge knights want to come and kick it in Midler Point. Mm. So Justice Sir has mouth and asked how I would like to greet them. Mm. You know what? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and just refuse them. Yeah. I, I don't need anybody in my room. We've got so much stuff that we've got to take care of. I don't need to spend the money or anything like that. All right, so our plot powers, plot powers a little up there. All right, we're up to 116 percent. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, let's still hold off. 
see who, how we can increase this plot power. Well, basically, who we have to pay off. That's really it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're not going to be able to get the two that we really need in this: the courtier of Sunrise Keep and the spy master of Sunrise Keep. Hmm. I wonder if we send him some cash. Yeah, he's still not willing to join. Still not willing to join. Hmm. No. Now I'm going to plot to buy his loyalty. You know what? We're going to go ahead with the plan. Hopefully we are able to pick him up. Fingers crossed. And um, you know what? I'm going to actually leave it there. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Episode 4. Again, this was Tea and Crumpets with Stizzy. A toned down version uh, of the usual uh, affair but uh yeah hit that like button subscribe and yeah we'll have a whole bunch of cursing and all that rah rah shit next episode but yeah happy thanksgiving you guys be good and again forget like you know that we've massacred indians and all that stuff just it's not like just forget about it right like you can't just forget about slavery but um yeah just try to think about that stuff less and just hug somebody that you're thankful that you're able to hug them or take it easy. You guys be safe. You guys be cool. I'm going to go hang out with my kids. Peace. Bye.